Welcome back guys to the Toy Barn Homestead. I'm Tyler and today we are going to be working on doing some uh, shingles on our shed. Uh, I think I mentioned previously in another video we had a leak in the roof and we're finally going to fix it. Not finally, I mean really it's only been a, a couple weeks but I watched a couple videos and uh, I guess I have no kind of what I need to do. It should be pretty easy. We're going to start with um, ripping all the shingles off and cleaning up around around the shed so I can work. So let's get to it. <laughs> all right, guys, here's the shed. We got to clean up all these tires and rims and stuff for the dump truck and pull this fence down and get all this scrap metal out of the way here. I really should just take that to the scrap yard, but that's another day. And we're gonna try to save this drip edge here. I didn't buy a new one because number one, I'm cheap. And number two, I would love to be able to reuse it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start cleaning up and ripping these shingles down. But we're gonna be very careful to keep that drip edge um, from getting all bent up and screwed up. So let's get into it. Here's how screwed up the old shingles are. You can see this roof is not in great shape. It's at least at least 10 years old. We've lived here for almost 10 years, so it's at least that old. It's time for a new roof. Let's get it, guys. <laughs> All right, so I haven't moved a lot, but I'm going to use this refrigerator and that stove as like a ladder because right now we're just working on the shingles. Later on, um, in a few weeks or whatever soon, we're going to repaint all the shed and I will have to move this stuff. But until then, I'm just going to use it to my advantage so I can get up onto the roof easily without having to grab my ladder. So win-win i guess i saw on youtube that somebody was using a pitchfork to uh, get big sections of sink shingles right off of their roof so that's what we're gonna go grab and try that out see how it goes <laughs> wanted to show this see here they've made their own ridge vent or ridge cap it's not a vent so they took the three shingles and cut them into you know three sections so you just have one shingle and then they just overlap that over the top here for the ridge and I'm gonna I'm gonna copy the same thing that seems like the best thing and then uh it's also been recommended online, so that's what we're going to do. I'm not one to tell people how to do their job or anything, but as you can see, there's no felt on the plywood underneath the shingles. So all my research, it says you got to put what you know that waterproof felt down. So I don't know what them boys were doing down at the shed building place, but they skipped a step. So we're going to put felt down before we put new shingles. We got a little bit more shingles to take off, but it's been going pretty easy, man. It's only, uh, it's not even 11 yet. So we're less than 30 minutes and all the shingles are almost off. I like that. Bruh. I tossed the pitchfork down off of the roof. Snapped it. Gosh darn it. I literally will have to go buy a new one of these today. Liv uses that all the time, and now it's broken, thanks to me. <laughs> so, that's awesome. The rest will be ripped off by hand. All right, shingles are off. Drip edge 
successfully saved. I just have to pull all these freaking nails out that they left. And then we'll get started on the... You can see here there was some damage to the wood, but it's not very bad at all. So I'm going to leave it. We're going to cover it up with um, the felt and then shingles. Oreo, why are you always doing this? Come on. There we go. Man, you guys, these staples don't fit, but you can see they says that they do, but they're too big. So luckily I have more, but Stanley, you lied to me and I'm not happy about it. Here's the uh, felt. We're gonna roll that out and measure it to the length of this. And then we're gonna just layer it on up with a three inch overlap till we cover the whole thing. So let's get into it. y'all we got to cut the excess off of this tar paper but as you can see the whole roof is felted up so technically it's waterproof now but obviously we need to put shingles on there and it is hot as hades man i'm dying out here Virginia heat is crazy, man. Actually, it's really not the the heat; it's the humidity. It, it's buck wild. Like you step outside and you're sopping wet. It's crazy. Got to get her done. It's so hot, I'm dying. Okay, I'm out of breath, guys. It's freaking hot. But we got a storm rolling in, and I've only used one pack of shingles so far. You can see my second row is crooked, and I'm not happy about it, but everything else is straight as an arrow, so I'm not gonna tear anything else down just to fix that one. It's really only two shingles that are out of place. And really, I'm looking on the camera, you can't really tell. So we're gonna keep on working. I had to send Liv to the store to get some new nails because these are too long. There she is with them right now. You can see. I've been sending freaking nails through the wall. I didn't realize until like 10 minutes ago. So we got to get that fixed. <laughs> All right, as you can see, it's raining and this is as far as I've gotten. Luckily, I put that felt paper down, and so that made everything waterproof. So we're good, except I want to finish, and I can't now. So on to another day, I guess. Yeah, this really sucks, guys. I wanted to finish this. Um, Liv came back. They didn't have the right size nails, so... I'm not driving 30 miles round trip to get the right size, so we're just going to keep using what we got, because um, gas prices are high, dude, and yeah, maybe tomorrow afternoon or Sunday or Monday or something, I'll get this finished. Hopefully it doesn't rain the rest of the weekend, but 
what can you do? Mother Nature's in control. So I tried to figure out the square footage of the roof. The shed is a 10 by 10, or this is not even 10 by 10. I think it's six feet wide, but that math doesn't add up because you got the roof goes on a side and all this crap, and I didn't think about that. So I don't have enough shingles, but I have like another bag and a half that I can use. And then I will have to go to Lowe's because I can't leave half the shingles off the roof. So I've been thinking about it and the chicken coop, the roof kind of needs some attention because those panels that I bought for it are junk and they're already warped and all screwed up. So I think what I'm going to do is get matching shingles for the chicken coop and we're gonna do that as well at some point but I have a coupon at Lowe's so I'm gonna use that and get enough shingles to finish the shed and do the chicken coop so that's the plan but we're gonna continue working today and finish all the material that we have and then uh, I don't know I don't feel like going back to Lowe's but gotta do it <laughs> well I was right. Well, I was wrong, actually. <laughs> my, I did all this, like, square footage calculation for the roof to make sure I had enough shingles, and uh, I was wrong. I did the math wrong, so this is what it looks like until I go back to the store <laughs> and get more shingles. Damn it, dude. Look at that. The side came out a lot cleaner than the first side as you can see the lines are pretty straight last the other side i made a few mistakes but it looks all right you guys all huddled up because it's raining look at this <laughs> come on chicken have just finished the uh, roof on the shed here um, coming up we're gonna paint the shed and we're gonna do it kind of as a test run for how we're gonna do the house so we picked out dark shingles we're gonna paint it dark with white trim that's the plan for the house and I don't know if next week I'm going to paint the shed or if I'm going to get started redoing the roof on the chicken coop, but there's plenty to do around here, and I hope you guys watch till the end. Um, we'll do some, you know, B-roll video of the roof being done. I know it's not the most entertaining thing, but we definitely had to get it done, and 
you know, this is just a, a good, this is the first time I've done roofing before. So this is a good um, chance for me to learn it and, you know, I'll do better on the chicken coop, hopefully. But th this should work out and be watertight and should be no problem. I don't see any issues with it, at least not yet. If you guys have a roof that's going bad on your chicken coop, your shed, your dog house, whatever it is, I, I think this is a pretty beginner level project. It was pretty easy. I didn't need a lot of tools. I didn't need any experience other than some YouTube videos and some uh, blogs. I would say anyone could probably do this if you have a ladder and some hammer and like a hammer and some nails. Uh, you're going to have to buy the shingles and stuff, but the project was e easy. Um, math. <laughs> Make sure you buy enough shingles. But yeah, I would, I would recommend this for anyone uh, that has even a little bit of um, experience, you know, DIY, whatever. Um, if you like the video, like it, please. Subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you guys know when our videos are coming out. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.